Start by expanding the HMI menu listing from the project tree and double click Runtime Settings. In the Runtime Setting window, uncheck the Load Names checkbox to free the header text for editing. With this box checked, the system will automatically load the configured screen names into the header text box. Now let's change the start screen from the default root screen to a screen more relevant to our application. Expand the start screen listing to view all possible alternatives. In this example, we will configure the control screen as the start screen for the HMI. Click the checkbox to accept the change. Now open the control screen to modify the header. Note that the header can be modified from any user screen and that the modifications will be valid for all screens. Change the header text or any other header components as desired. Now we'll open the count screen to see the effect of changing the header text on screens other than the control screen. Note that the header text is now the same for each screen. Now highlight the top level HMI element in the project tree and start the simulation feature. Note that the control screen is now the start screen and that the header is the same on all screens. 